Hey there, travel enthusiasts! Today, we're highlighting the biggest red flags that will get you stopped by the TSA. For this list, we're looking at various common and not so common mistakes people make when going through airport security that can result in additional screenings, interrogation, or even fines and detainment. But first, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to Nomad Visas and turn on notifications so you can keep up to date with all our latest and most exciting content. Being visibly stressed. Flying is a stressful experience for many people, especially going through security. There are a million excuses to feel nervous when passing through a TSA checkpoint, but these don't matter to security. To TSA agents who see a traveler who seems nervous, it's their job to at least entertain the possibility that you could be nervous for the worst possible reasons. Being critical of TSA staff. TSA agents have been charged with the particularly unenviable task of moving thousands upon thousands of busy people through security checkpoints in an orderly manner, while also attending to their due diligence in identifying potential threats. The last thing they're in the mood for is a lecture or bad attitude. A passenger is better off saving their opinions for an online review after the fact. And undermining their authority in public can make you the perfect candidate for a demonstration of their authority. Traveling with a ton of cash. When you're filling out the paperwork for customs, there's a line informing passengers that if you have over $10,000 in cash, you must declare it. For the average traveler, this is a non-issue. But if you do have a large amount of cash on hand, always count it before going through customs because if you fail to declare it, that is a major red flag and you're in for a lengthy interrogation to get to the bottom of why you were concealing a large sum of money. And even if under $10,000, any unusually large stack of cash is ill-advised, as it is nonetheless enough to raise eyebrows. Bringing up weapons. This one might seem like a no-brainer, but you'd be surprised as to just how many people have gotten themselves in trouble by not watching what they say. Whether you're standing in line chatting with a fellow passenger or when you're actually being questioned by a TSA agent, it's best to keep your interest in firearms, knives, explosives, and other such eyebrow-raising items to yourself. Agents are trained to be on the lookout for any and all suspicious activity. And the very fact that you're so cavalier about expressing interest in items that are largely forbidden on airplanes is to get you taken aside. Traveling with coffee. Coffee is an incredibly common, but also highly regional product. Making it a popular souvenir or gift for people to bring home with them from abroad. But coffee is also employed by smugglers and criminals to try to mask the smell of various contraband substances. TSA agents, again, have no choice but to assume the worst. And now you may have the added cost of a more rigorous search of your bags. Not taking out all your liquids. Of all the TSA regulations that get on people's nerves, this is the one that's arguably the most frustrating. You've brought something to drink with you and now you have to throw it out and buy a replacement at an overpriced shop on the other side of security. But if you decide to stow that bottle of water, juice, or soda at the bottom of your bag, you come across as a traveler with something to hide and the contents of that bottle suddenly become suspect. By the time a TSA agent has found your liquid secret, you've already become a person of interest. Making inappropriate jokes. The amount of airport security in the modern age can often feel excessive, but airport security is a deterrent. If you want to see just how committed the TSA are to their mandate, you can go ahead and make an ill-timed terrorist or bomb joke while in line. The TSA understandably takes such matters extremely serious, and a joke that makes light of passenger safety or security will almost certainly earn you a thorough and invasive interrogation. While you might find some TSA regulations and guidelines to be pointless, they're all in place for a reason. And if you choose not to follow their clear instructions, you become a problematic passenger. Removing your jewelry or belt might be inconvenient. 
but getting pulled aside for additional screening will take far more time. Same goes for not taking your laptop out of your bag. Sure, you might slip through, but the more you push the limits, the more likely you are to eventually wind up facing the consequences. It might just be a laptop, but depending on the TSA agent, it can be a sign of willful deception. Traveling with unique or peculiar items. If you have to give a detailed explanation as to what a specific item is or does, the TSA isn't going to like it. And if its usefulness or purpose can't be demonstrated on the spot, you may have to leave that item with them or miss getting on the plane. Anything that is rare or unusual poses two questions. First, why do you need this with you on the plane? And second, what sinister secondary purpose could this possibly serve? Whatever the item, it's often probably not worth the risk. Not having appropriate documentation. It's always worthwhile to double check that you have all of your identification essentials your passport, flight details, and wallet. When you travel with medication, make sure it is in labeled containers that clearly show what it is and that it is prescribed for you. If not, the TSA is left to guess, and you can bet that their assumptions won't work out in your favor. If you're missing any essential documents, especially personal ID, you might not be making your flight. So play it safe and avoid the heartache. We hope you found this video helpful. Do you have any other suggestions about going through airport security? Any horror stories? Be sure to leave a comment below if you have any other suggestions or questions. Remember to like and subscribe to Nomad Visas for more travel information. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.